Jesus Christ! <laughs> I was not expecting that. <laughs> Let's turn that bastard down. What? Eh? What? I love how Shannon just kept it on. Oh, what? I think we just had a nuclear war. Christ! That's a bit better, isn't it? I can't hear anything now. <laughs> and welcome to Off the Stage. James. <laughs> The show where we take musicians off the stage and, and deafen them, them up, until they can't sing anymore. And deafen them. Oh, we take musicians off the stage and into the pub Sorry. to talk about that. I know I'm trying to do a bloody introduction. <laughs> you know what? Last week was perfect. So I was just, I could do it all perfectly. Everyone was really nice and kind. I was here last week, James. It was yesterday I wasn't. I mean, to these guys, it's last oh, week. I was thinking last week, yeah. yeah. Anyway. Who welcome to week? Off the Stage. <laughs> Yes, it's the show where we take musicians <laughs> off the stage and into the pub to talk about the ins and outs of the music world. I'm James Berry, this is Connor Michael, and today we have the wonderful Shannon Pearl. Woo! 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 Oh, you got the soundboard back. <laughs> I love you, I love you. I've got a huge soundboard now because it's on my phone, you see. Ah, I've got yeah. sock giving you I think clips. I did that last, we did that, that last week. Possibly, I think you were playing with it just before. I was, I, because I was, yeah. I, was, um, I was like... Back in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> he I basically went through my song and just started taking my lyrics out and put them on the soundboard. <laughs> As you do. Yeah. I would, if I had Absolutely. One. He's a big Conor Michael fan. Of- <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I've got a full soundboard. I, I'm, I'm, what I'm wanting to do, actually, for the intro, just do that little outro thing that's the da 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 da. And then just add, like, the Ollie Murs thing at the start. I think that would probably work quite well. Big up, Ollie. Thanks for watching also, the podcast. Yep. As if. I know, right? That was cool. Yeah, he's so. a good guy. Right, yeah, isn't he? absolutely. So anyway, how is everybody? Kenny. Yeah, good stuff. Right. And uh, most importantly, what are we drinking? Oh, that is most important, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> of course it is. I'm not drinking. You've oh yeah, you're doing dry January, but an extended version of that. Extension, yeah. yeah. However long I last without getting really annoyed. So this episode comes out the 21st <laughs> of February. Who will be like, how are we? <laughs> So I'm till, probably I'm going to try and go till then at least. Then. All right then. until until um until you try and plan your next gig. And yeah, then, uh... I'll keep you posted. <laughs> this week has been a trying one, so I'm doing good with my little tonic water. Yeah, it's, I like you know what I like a good tonic water though. It didn't. It hasn't got a slice of lime in though. I really wanted one, but no. Yeah, I mean, I would I would drummer. He loves his tonic water because he's well, he's you know Ross. He's got muscular dystrophy. He says it just it helps loads like relax and like. Um, Make his arms move a little bit better. It does stuff. chill you out. It's got quinine in yeah. it, hasn't it? Yeah, that's, I think that's the thing he, he says. Um, but he always asks for all the bells and whistles, he says. Oh, yeah. But we're always, always playing these, like, um, quite, like, I'm not going to say like, rough pubs, but, like... Gadgy pubs. Yeah, proper old gadgy well, pubs. they haven't got fancy tonics and limes, Aye. Aye. And they're like, uh, yeah. I've got a banana. So throw that in there, like, I don't know. <laughs> 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 a pickled egg if you want last, one in there. <laughs> The last one we played, like, it was barely, like, I thought it was just water because it was so like um, it was out the tap. There was just no fizz on it at all. And he was like, "Well, it tastes like tonic water. <laughs> well, it's tonic water then. Yes, you get, you well, get what like. you're given." What's this smoothie then that you're drinking? This is a fruity. You know what? I haven't had it a fruity. Looks like a smoothie, doesn't it? It does, I. But I haven't so had a fruity in ages. Fruity smoothie. Because um, I've been, I've been on all the sours and stuff, haven't I? Mm-hmm. Been uh, trying Enjoying to get me. Yeah. When you say sours, I'm guessing you mean like sour beer. Yeah, it's like sours a, to me is like green cactus looking oh, stuff. Oh yeah, it's apple like a shot. <laughs> yeah, apple sours. No, this is like sour without the Z in the end. Yeah, I'd never, never heard of sours until I started drinking these. Really? And now I, don't, I haven't stopped. You're lucky, babes, because uh, what's that cocktail called made of the green one? The Hulk or something. Oh, I know of apple sours and stuff. But like, I, I never thought of this being a sours. I used to just keep, I think when I was like 16, 17, you drink apple sours at house parties and stuff. Oh well. Now they're really <laughs> sickening, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> I remember there was one. Uh, it's like one, blue wickets. Nobody drinks them after fourteen. <laughs> well, I had um, I had I had an experience with some apple sours. Apple sours. Um, for those just listening, that's uh, I was abbreviating the apple sours in uh, Magaluf, where I had like a, a whole bottle of absinthe one night. And you know the absinthe, like the eighty percent stuff. <laughs> yeah. I was like nearly dead. Um, and then I woke up in the morning, just like the the person at the. The, the pool bar was like, what's wrong? I like, just had like a massive bottle of absinthe and I feel rough as beck. I'm not going to swear. And God forbid. God forbid. And he, um, he says, oh, I'll tell you what, best best cure is hair with a dog. So we'll get a light, light kind of fruity one to give you an apple sours. Oh, yeah. Sounds, sounds good. It wasn't, was it? It was absinthe, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Did you then go blind? <laughs> Nearly. I was I was out for the count for the rest of the holiday. Oh, I was God. like I was bedridden. Uh, it was me and my mate Jed. Uh, yeah, you know I Jed. Love, I love Jed. Uh, we, we we shared the bottle Jed. of absinthe. <laughs> And we were like, there was rumours that if you could if you could crawl and make it to the hospital, they'd give you like a drip. <laughs> I always remember, Jed, at your engagement party. Oh, yeah. When he was, was doing the worm. He was, was doing the legendary He did, he did the worm, didn't he? I right, forgot about class. that. Never forget. No, never forget. <laughs> Hashtag. <laughs> oh. So, Shannon, um, was it, I can't remember if it was your Instagram page or your Facebook page. You describe yourself as... Eth- I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna pronounce this wrong, but ethereal folk. Yeah, ethereal. Ethereal. <laughs> I know what that sounds like, but because I've listened to your stuff. Yeah. Obviously, I, need I should to. hope so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At this point. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you could tell our listeners slash watchers what kind of sound ethereal folk. So if is. you imagine <laughs> any room you walk in, that sounds nice to make a big noise, like with really good reverb. Oh, yeah. And if you want to just sing a high pitched noise, that's what I sound like high pitched echoey noises. Right. Well, yeah, I know that. I, so it's not bass, it's like dreamy. Just kind of. dreamy, like yeah. think fairy tale tunes, think um, like lullaby ish, very soothing folk music. Yeah. Smooth radio vibes. I wouldn't say smooth. No. I think smooth wouldn't like my really? my whole bag. What do you think? No, no. I, no, I don't think so. If you could pick six a radio music station, might like it. yeah, six music. See, so because six music's on at the cafe all the time, and I'm like, what's her name again? I forget her name. Um, oh, I'm forgetting the host's name. I'm so bad. I was going to ring her this morning and say, I've got a song for you, but I forgot. Anyway, yeah, they've had uh. tunes. On. <laughs> Hobbs. Marianne Hobbs, that's Mary her. Marianne Hobbs, yeah. So if Marianne yeah, Hobbs finds out that I've been talking about her, put my tunes on your radio, please. <laughs> Pretty please. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we kind of skipped past it, but who are you? Uh, this is I the first time we've had you on solo. Yeah, I've got loads of different things going on, too many to count really at the moment. But you will probably know us as one half of Yuma. Uh, that's the blues folk duo that's it's, it's like been going for nearly 10 years we do yeah, covers and bluesy tunes we've been on a year before yes and then i also sing with the nick gladys band um sing back and vocals and yes dance about with the tambourine for him we tried getting him on uh, he says he could only do thursdays I'm like, we can only do tuesdays he's like oh <laughs> <laughs> no, that, was, that, was, that was the entire conversation it's like oh never mind oh well <laughs> Yeah. But, you know, if you've ever got a Tuesday free, Nick, we'll love to have yeah. you on. he's class. And then I do my own stuff, which is a, a long-time project, but it's a, like snowball effect at the moment. I started doing stuff a couple of years ago, and it's just never stopped. Because oh, you, you did that Caves. Caves EP was the yeah. first thing I put out, which was completely random. I, I didn't plan it, it just happened. Because oh, you, you must have just been in a cave and thought... I was. That was yeah. the face I pulled. Yeah. I was like, Do it again. Hmm. <laughs> no, me and John uh, like to explore the lakes a lot, and we were in Cathedral Cave, and I was singing a song because you can't not in that room. It's beautiful. No, absolutely. It's got such good reverb and even a bit delay. So I was singing some tunes, and then I was like, John, record is singing this one. I don't know what it was. I think it was maybe the part in glass part, or something. I, why did I think part in glass? I think I mean, that I was the first one. Yeah. And I put a little video, just a daft like Instagram video up. And everyone was like, wow, this is really good. Like, I got a yeah. good reception for it. And I was like, hold on a minute. I, I really like singing in caves. I should do more if other people like it as well. <laughs> so then I had turned it into an EP. Mental. And we didn't like touch it. The files are just... Just pure. That's so it's all recorded in a cave. Everything That's is meant. recorded in a cave. Different caves though. So I did Honest to Slate Mine, um, Cathedral Cave. Um, I'm forgetting the, what's the other one, John? Milliken Dalton Saxon. Yeah, for, for those who know, John is. Uh, John is over there. Six. <laughs> our producer with our producer cat. Uh, <laughs> I like to say producer when uh, when I get guests and it stuff. makes like, us look like it makes us really professional. But we're not. Yeah, she is. She knows the crap. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what what did you use to uh, record that? By the way, John. Uh, I, I should probably just get John in. It was I? just a little <laughs> four track. Uh, just like a Zoom. 
No, it's not a Zoom, is it? It was my first ever recording thing. It's like a Tascam. Tascam, yeah. They used to mix on and everything. Oh, that's so clever. we just put two mics up, like condenser mics. Yeah, in and just... UK, but it's just a stereo recorder. That's clever. The most simple setup ever. But we had to wait for people to leave. We did it at night. <laughs> and then we waited until it got dark and it was hella spooky. <laughs> oh, I bet, actually. But it was really funny. Yeah. There's a story if you want to know. Um, so I was singing this... I think I was singing a, a Christmas song or something. Um, and this we heard this noise from far away. By, bear in mind, it's dark by now. Yeah. And we were the only ones in the cave, or so we thought. And we were like, what's that rustling noise? And it was this proper, like, trampy-looking guy. I'm sorry if he ever listens to this, but he did look like he just crawled out of a bush, because he did. <laughs> he had this plastic bag and his tracky on. I don't know. It was in the middle of the lakes, in the middle of nowhere. But he come out with his plastic bag with his Foster's cans in and his tracky on. Oh, and you've, you've nicked his usual was, spots, huh? He was the <laughs> Yeah. Get, what's going on here? I thought you were an angel singing. And I was like, <laughs> you, know that, you know what that reminds us of? Have you ever seen um, Howie Enfield, where the, the, uh, the sketch where the guys are in the North Pole kind of, and there's like the Geordie with the, yeah. with the can and the t-shirt. Um, oh, wait, like, Honestly, <laughs> so funny. It was like something off that. <laughs> I think his usual drinking spot. But, uh, <laughs> no, it turns out the cave party. If he had a few things to drink and he's like seeing this angelic voice, <laughs> he's going to think, this I, place is haunted. <laughs> <laughs> when we came out of the cave to go home and it was pitch black, we had our head torches on, we came across him and his mate again in the next cave along having a proper rave. And then um, one of it? them went, I thought I died, man. Because <laughs> obviously he was off his face yeah. or something. <laughs> having a proper out of body experience. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. Ah, well, he would have been, wouldn't he? Because if he's having a, a rave in the dark. In Does the he cave? stream your, your cave? cave's EP now? I don't know. I, I think hope he so. should do. He, he should, I. I gave him me, uh, me, yeah, we'll th- me internet. What do you call them? Me links. Social media. Yeah. <laughs> <and stuff. laughs> ah, yeah. God, I'm from the Stone Age. Yeah. But I had that's how that came about. And then since then, since doing that, I just thought, oh, this is a vibe. I need to be on the whole natural reverb vibe. And then it turned into being really inspired by places and heritage and yeah. the natural world and it's incorporating cool. found sound from outside into my new tunes. So is these, I mean, the, I mean, we'll, we'll be talking about like your new songs and stuff in the third part, but um, are they like new songs that you've written or have you had them for quite a while and you just thought, I haven't done anything with them yet, I'll just... Yeah. yeah, I think for me it's been a long process of finding out who I actually am as an artist on my own. Mm, that's that's part of me. That takes longer than anything yeah. else, doesn't it? and my creative cycle is so long. So I've been sitting on t- tunes for like, I don't know yeah. how you do it, but literally years. <laughs> and I've been scared to do anything with them because I was afraid of not doing them any justice. Like they're mm. all fully formed songs in my head, so I didn't know how to get them out in the way that I wanted them yeah. to sound and um, but I've worked on knowing how to do that and learning different things with the help of John who is an amazing producer sure and also lives in my house so that's yeah, handy that does help out <laughs> <laughs> no yeah, need to so phone up just no. John <laughs> yeah we've just chipped away at it like over the years and I've become more confident in um, explaining and, and getting across what I want I, I, it I to find, sound like I mean I find like like I mean, this sounds like quite sentimental, especially for me, but I find like in life in general, once you kind of reach your 30s, you do find more about yourself anyway. Oh, 100%, yeah. Uh, I turn 30. Until you you know next that, year. Yes. <laughs> you don't know that yet. Oh, yeah. You know, I think in your 30s, you do kind of like, um, you do really find out who you actually are. Yeah. That, that, that will help as like a, an I've, artist I've, itself. Like. 100%. I yeah. feel like since turning 30, I've somewhat just clicked in my head and I'm... Yeah. I'm, apart from being slightly stressed last week, I've been on a like... Hi. Yeah. Since I've had a really nice few months and a really creative one, and I'm really excited for this year. I will. <clears throat> we'll not. We'll not announce things just yet. We'll not wait yet, till not the yet. end of Calm the year. Down. I know. <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm excited. I kind of want to be like. Rrr. Yeah, and James is excited because, in case no one knows, I've roped him into my band. <laughs> yes, I, I play guitar or electric or banjo. I don't know which one yet. I'm just. We'll like, find out. Some strings. Yeah. 
I'll, 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 I'll make a I'll make a guitar itself. Just what pop <coughs> electric like three thingy. Yeah. Pop banjo. Do a new instrument altogether. Yeah. Exactly a banjo electric go. By the first of March, please. Yeah. <laughs> no pressure. I've got yeah, be, twenty-eight days. <laughs> um, I got a few questions here. The first one I'm going to ask is because I've just noticed James. Are you wearing double denim? I am wearing double denim. I thought yes. you were. Just it's only you know, what, you know what we're talking about? We're trying to find ourselves. I realise I'm... You're I'm, a denim I'm, guy. I'm, I'm a double denim guy. <laughs> um, my main question for yourself is, who's your favourite member of humour? Me. <laughs> okay. Nah. John, I love John the best. Did, did John not ask that question? <laughs> we're we're going to ask him now. John, who's your favourite member of humour? Shannon. Yeah. It's just two Shannons. Who knew that that would be from John? Nobody. Um, no, no, the question we got, in fact, oh, we'll go in order, we've got, we keep getting like robots responding to our Instagram really? now. Really? Why? Yeah. What I don't do they know. say? Well, at Dean Weathers says, hope you have a blessed day. Oh, I do, always. Thanks, <laughs> Dean Weathers. That's uh, great. That's right up my street, that robot. We have to apply to him saying that. <laughs> Shannon says thanks. <laughs> Cheers, mate. You do that now, James. <laughs> uh, John Timney Music asks, what's your favourite instrument to write with or a cappella? Oh. Um, ooh. It's hard because it depends what mood I'm in. At the moment, my favourite thing to write on is um, a loop pedal with just my voice. I love that, honestly. Like, I uh, sent you that, and it, that's me newfound yeah. creative outlet, and I'm proper on a mad yeah. whirlwind of flinging songs out, and they're just being fully formed, and it's wild. Yeah. But before yeah. that, probably piano. Well, the last one you sent us, I mean, we're not going to share it or anything, but I was like, are no. you sure you need a band? <laughs> I was laughing at that. Yeah, I was like... I am going to incorporate um, doing some live loop and yeah. in shows, but not yet. Right, Connor, I'll give you some One thing at hints and tips. <laughs> yes, yeah, I'll, it's, need, it's, I'll it's need a loop specialist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fun. Um, we've got a couple of questions from at I'm a free taco. I presume right. you know who that is. Oh, God. Uh, question one is shrooms, question mark. <laughs> <laughs> is he <that> being serious? <laughs> it's address, what we got. <laughs> um, pretend that's not me, brother. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what's this port independent crack you've been doing? Oh, right, yeah, so this is good. I, um, me and John have decided that because we've been on the scene for a long time as a duo, we really like hosting things, so occasionally these days because we're quite busy busy we try and do like our own uh just organized night once in a while and it's turned out to be part independent with we're, we're gonna just do a one-off christmas show last year but it turned out so well james yeah. played mm-hmm. um that we thought we're gonna carry it on every few months and then it's good for the local business which is part yeah. independent obviously which is a coffee shop it's a independent um business of its own with its own apparel um, and it's bigger house as well, and then it also showcases local artists. So you have to come on as well at some point. Yes. But yeah, yes. the next one's on the fifth of March. That's I know who that is because I've seen it advertised. And I was going to get tickets. I had no idea. You were. Um, it was me. Thing, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well. Okay. Well, I'll definitely get tickets. <clears throat> yeah, Eve Cole Band yeah. is on um, yeah. next time, as as well as Dylan Parker, and the rest is to be, to be Announced. certified. Yes. Ooh. Because it's a good, honestly, it's a good, because that was, cause it's like five pound a ticket or something, isn't it? So it's... It's pee on the door, and please, oh. if you can, pay with cash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Plus, and then I split it between artists, and, yeah. me, and John, me and John just do it for the for the crack, because we, we want to create a little bit of culture mm. in one corner of Sunderland, if we can. Mm. Well, if I can ever get my camera down there, I'll take a few snaps oh, as well. Oh, 100%, yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be good. That'd be you should do... Ooh. Oh, I could do, we could do an off the stage. Would be that's amazing. that's do, what I was going to say. Do you yeah. want to do a side gig? Always. Like do interviews it. on the side. Yeah. So how did that go? On? You know, just like the it's hit. becoming our thing yeah. now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I'll not get stressed next time. We'll you will. I know, I will. I know, I will. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, bring it, bring it. It'll be good. No, that, that sounds absolutely spot on. 5th of March. I'll be there anyway because I'm going to get tickets. So uh... I'm gigging 5th of March, I've just checked. Oh, but the yeah. next one. The one after. <laughs> yeah. Potentially. I'll check. Yeah. yeah, just let me know. Well, the one it? after you play, then you will be gigging, but it'll be there. Yeah. Yeah, do that. But yeah, um, I think that's all I have for part one. That was quite a lengthy part one, to be fair. We got yeah. a lot of good stuff out of that. Yeah, I, I quite enjoyed it. Uh, part two, as you can see, is very empty. It's very much relying on what James has on his phone. And then we'll get a part three soon. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see you in the next round. Yep, spot on. Uh, 
What's happening, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, Elizabeth Towners. Uh, welcome to the Ship ISIS in Sunderland. We have a gig here on the 26th of February. It's a 7 p.m. start. It is 7 p.m. start. We've got some lovely support acts, James. We have some lovely support acts. Who are they, by the we way? We have uh, Mr. Connor Michael, who is <laughs> he's not too far away. Um, Mr. Keith Clark from Big Lamp is going to be playing an acoustic set Big for one. you too. Um, music is from 7 p.m. and we have some free tickets. We have free tickets, completely free. Uh, from 7 p.m. we've got all your old classic Elizabeth Town hits. We've got some new ones sh- stuck in there. You know, you, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a good night. It's gonna brand, be a fun brand night. Brand new songs. Brand new songs. It's gonna be a fun night. Get yourself down. It's free free ticket. Yeah, it's a free ticket. It's a free ticket. Come down and Just see Elizabeth Town. Don't worry because about the ticket. We don't play very often. That's the thing. We don't play that often. So get your chance now. Come and so see our us. Our first gig in the UK in two years as well. We hope you. Ready for it. We've got some lovely new songs for you. Tons of old stuff as well. And we'll hope to see you here soon. Yep. See you later. Anyway, back to the show. We're back, baby! We're back. <laughs> yeah, and welcome back again to... <laughs> Sorry, to... Sorry we, we, had a, we had a false introduction there because uh, the chicken arrived. And I couldn't help myself. I was telling Shannon I'm like a, like a vampire, you know, and a vampire sea blood for the first time. And I'm hungry. I get chicken and I just got fucking mental. James the chicken vampire. <laughs> yeah. I'm a chicken vampire. <laughs> Spared you all that noise. Yeah. But anyway. Right, um, you had a, a worse gig stories, didn't you, Connor? That was sent to us by, um, by our san- soundboard guy, Dan. I sure do. Um, oh, you, you like this one, actually, because um, cause you, 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 you used to live in Southwick, didn't you? Oh, aye. Oh, this oh, have you read this one? I haven't. No offence, Dan. This I'm just really lazy. <laughs> this one's about a famous uh, Southwick establishment. Oh, get in, I then. So, Dan sent us it. And by the way, if any musicians are watching and you want to send us your crazy gig, gig stories, send them our way. We'll read them out. Or attempt to. You're about to see how bad my reading skills are. Um, I forgot to mention this to you guys when I was on. I played a gig uh, at a bar in Southwick. Let's just say it rhymed with Van Carten. <laughs> yeah, you know. Oh, why was he doing a gig there? Yeah, that's exactly yeah. what I was thinking. I was like, <laughs> why would you even... I mean, anyway? to be fair, go on then. <laughs> it wasn't that busy. The barman just got back from... Uh... Come on, can I go there with this? The barman just got back from... Ah, just got back from Herons. I read that as heroines for some reason. Of course you did, Yeah. <laughs> With some uh, with some tins to sell behind the bar, I caught two lads shooting something up, each of us arse in the toilets, and oh a guy <laughs> and a guy in a high vis jacket, wanting to show his appreciation to the band, and proceeded to stand up and pull down his pants, <laughs> with his Johnsons waving around and dancing on the table. We were completely baffled, and the barman later just chuckled, saying, "Ah, yes, he does that all the time. A good band is on." <laughs> Oh, so it was a so it's a, Apparently. It's like, that's the, is that the way you greet people? Then? Should, should I book you guys again? <laughs> Forgot to mention that the same barman at three in the afternoon when arriving to the quiet Sunday gig threw up outside the establishment whilst inviting us in. Lovely. That's <laughs> I, love, I love that. That's like the introduction. So this is the place here, the barman. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know Video what? Lads. <laughs> like if your barman's hung over, you might. Yeah. <laughs> I could have told you that would happen. It's closed now, isn't it? The, uh, no. Is it not still open? It? It's sneaky open. I'm sure, I'm sure it was open. I used, to, I, pass it, I used to pass it all the time going into work during lockdown when uh, anywhere was supposed to be closed. Lies. I still don't even know where Which it is. is. mad because there's, there's literally a police station just around the corner from it. They just don't care, do they? Well, I think they're just a bit scared, maybe. Yeah. It's the tram car in, if uh, anyone was. <laughs> I don't think anybody watches. The thing is, yeah. the, the outside of the building is so pretty and all. I was it's listed grade three or something. proper, like, Victorian-esque really style. Gorgeous, yeah. yeah. Do you, you ever looking for a gig there, Connor? Always. I love a good shithole. Pe- <laughs> no offence, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but it isn't sold quite well. <laughs> To be fair, they're my kind of gigs. I love them. I honestly, yeah. That... No, like a good gig. Well, we, if you don't get a naked guy on the table, you haven't gigged correctly. That's just like... Oh, I've just thought of a story. What is Oh, go on then. Go on then. So me and John were in the... What do you call that one at the end? The bridge end. Is this bridge end in Durham? Three bridges. Three bridges. That's Three. it. Three bridges in Durham. In there, yeah. Uh, this was like ages ago now. And um, we set up 
started playing, had a really like nice gig, everyone was joining in and dancing, it was yeah. quite rowdy on a Saturday night. And then this um, hen party came in, and you know, like, they say stag do's are bad, but oh, God, hen yeah. parties are worse, no. man. Yeah. This lass, who was obviously the bride, because she was dressed in a, like, a sort of slutty bride outfit, yeah. jumped on the table, like, from here to maybe there, away from me, oh, and was, like, winding and grinding on this, like, table. Jesus. Until she got a bit too into it and, <clears throat> like, cocked her leg onto a chair, but she did not... Have any knickers on? Oh, <laughs> oh. no! And a literal thing. Harry Growler o'clock. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I wasn't seeing John because I was singing, so I was like, oh, what the hell is happening to John? And John was just oblivious. Exactly. <laughs> John just doesn't—he concentrates and like doesn't care what's going on. But True I was professional. Like, oh what my that? god! <laughs> anyway, I the bar people that come and go down and chuck out. <laughs> Flashing that in. Honestly, the, the the mental with like it's dumb is is no toys for for Hindus because I, I work on the in the the market the marketplace and mm. I see them all the time like it's like four o'clock in the mo- like four o'clock in the afternoon I've got to say morning yeah, four o'clock in the afternoon got to start early. just like just so stumbling by that time, all of it yeah just they've got all the shots four. in at like twelve or something like that and they just like four hours of drink and then Tactical gets to white, you forget that uh, gets to like nine o'clock and it's just like yeah game mm-hmm. over. Mm-hmm. Jumping on the table, making a fool of yourself. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. The poor husband to be, though. Yeah, well, it's... Like, you know, yeah. save a bit, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you think as well if, like, I mean, it's a hen do, and she's still got no knickers on. Like, <laughs> I'm thinking of what she is. She, yeah? No. That's... Might be a comfort thing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she might have just pissed her pants. <laughs> She might have been warm. <laughs> <laughs> it was summer. <laughs> it was a packed bar. Well, there yeah. were we to judge. Anyway, yeah. It was the Eiffel and it was kind of funny. <laughs> well, yeah. You ever seen I mean, naked I'm... body parts when you've been gigging, James? All the time. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm on a uh, flipping uh, Sunday, the gig that you booked for us. Some well, guy just, just, Scotsman. just pulled his pants down and just started, like, windmilling. <laughs> Like, what? I'm not even joking. It wasn't even that, it wasn't even that busy. And I was just like... Just Sunday afternoon. Aye, kids are allowed in. I know. I was like... But those kids, like, over there. Like, and I was like, for fuck's sake. Like, I must have God. Why? Like, they were enjoying themselves, obviously. <laughs> well, you know, as it says, that's a but compliment. Like, and I, I, like, obviously, I, I don't get, a, like... I don't necessarily get, like, offended by that. But, like, if there was... If it was, like, a, if you booked a girl and, like, he's doing that... I mean, that's, like, a sexual harassment. Lost in that. Oh, aye, flashing that. Aye. Yeah. I was like, jeez, but no one did anything. She was just like, they're like, oh, it's just, uh, it's like that guy from. Good old Dave. It's probably the same guy who, who went to the flipping tram car that time. And he, just <laughs> he just goes around. He just goes He just loves like music. Yeah, he just like. <laughs> oh, God. Absolutely mental. Oh. I've never seen like a, a, a genitalia flashed yet. I get loads of boobs. They've just flown out of tops and stuff when they dance on tables, but yeah. <laughs> never yeah. seen anybody helicopter because they've enjoyed a song. <laughs> Fuckers love that one! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, I, I did play like the, the song that you requested, to be fair. So Which one was it? Um, oh, God. This is important now. What's Belter. Song? It was Belter. Oh, He's a Belter. Say no more. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It was just like... Not that much of a fucking belt. I'm gonna stop singing the <laughs> Oh, it's a good song to sing live, but there are certain people that enjoy that song that you a you, bit you, too much, yeah. you see them as a category. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You think I'm not playing any more Jerry Cinnamon from you? Yeah. <laughs> Jerry Cardamom. Right. Should we do a, a couple of just ask James's? So I'll just introduce it very quickly. This is part of the show where um, I look on the internet, specifically Reddit. Uh, the cesspit that it is on r slash musicians I, I love reddit i love it that's great um, but this is r slash musicians and you always get musicians asking problems and what solutions or just asking general advice and i thought it would be a good idea for us <coughs> to offer that advice to these individuals Go on, right. um this one's not necessarily like advice uh, oh, hang on, hang on. Um, so advice. this one is by user Lossage196. Okay, um, Lossage, what's your question? The question is, thoughts on cassette release? My thoughts on cassette yeah. release. So he says, my band yeah. slash record label, fancy, is considering doing a cassette release alongside CD and streaming services. 
it would be very DIY, limited production, just to sell as novelty at shows. I don't know. Any tips for do's and don'ts? I know most people won't listen to it even if they buy it. <laughs> but already I have the equipment besides a stock of blank cassettes. I think we were just going to freeball it and see what happens. I think that's mint. I think that's a really good idea. I've just thought, like, I had a flashback of when I was, like, 10, making mixtapes on an actual tape mm. for to play my auntie's car on the way to the caravan. And yeah. that is a good memory. So now yeah. I'm going to do a cassette release as well. I'm tempted on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, Mike will just currently one of my favourite bands of all time. Like I'm thinking like the the, the, the slowly upgrading themselves after the album the release called mm. The Mountain Goats. Alright. If you've ever heard of them. No, I'm gonna listen though now. No, you should you should listen to them. You should play um, some now. I would. Insert now. Oh copyright. There's copyrights here. God um, sake. Connie use YouTube songs on YouTube. God. Oh, wait. But the the way he got <laughs> famous, his first few albums was basically what he did, um is he had an eight like a it was like a like a boom box and it had like a little tiny record, record mic thing oh. and you could record cassette tape into that mm. and he just recorded it from into this cassette and That's just so sent, it, sent it to a load of uh, people but it's, it's like obviously um, quality of song is, is very, um, it's proper fuzzy, it's, it's like something that you'd, you'd hear from like the 1920s That's like, cool you know, though, that it sounds, like... sounds awesome but the songs are so flipping good yeah i was gonna say it'll all depend on how good your songs are it's, really there's one song that that you'll know recognize instantly because i named my band's quite after it it's called oh. the best ever death metal band out of <laughs> Denham. is it so that? you can see where you get my, my band name out did of. you listen to the other podcast i done with jay sykes because you were on that i was talking about you oh weird i, oh. I listened i listened to um I must have listened, like, like, I didn't have much time, but I did listen to a little bit of it. Yeah, no, you'll not listen to the bit where I was talking no. about you. I was saying... Um, oh, I feel, uh, feel famous. I James, remember. get off of a podcast, will you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can't remember what I, uh, why we were talking about you, probably because I said about the band and stuff. But, um, yeah, I said that you played one of our our um, Port Live gigs. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. And so. then I could never remember the order of your band name because it was that long. Yeah. Like, I still couldn't tell you now. Even you know full if folk ever rock band best of. Yeah, I always do but that. But if you Google it, then you'll know it's... Uh, yeah. Honestly, if you Google um, folk rock full, already I'm the first name up oh, yeah. there, so you don't Are have you to... Clever? You just Yeah, you just, you know, it doesn't really clever, matter she. that much. We'll get yeah, there. no, I, th- I think I think cassettes, because I've seen, uh, as we did the HMV thing, and there was a few local bands had cassettes. In HMV? In HMV. Unreal. So also, that, that's, that's the thing. about that as well, just quick aside... Yeah. If you think about, like, if a bomb goes off, what would be left? Probably a cassette tape out of everything. They could unearth them out of time capsules after a million years, and you could probably still listen to them. So by that logic, anything you can sell on a Nokia phone. (laughs) Oh, James, you top one. Yeah, that's what I mean. Honestly. James Berry and the best ever folk rock have banned out of four. Because, and the reason YouTube, I think YouTube, JB and the best yeah. ever folk rock. And if, if you, the thing is, if you listen, because I struggled with a name. You've that never was the thing. Like, I could never, I had loads of different names. I was like, I just couldn't really think of what name to think. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> and um, one of the one of the lyrics to that is like, the best ever death metal band out of Denton. Never settled on a name. So I was like, yeah, I've never settled on a name, and like that's fucking genius. That's, that's your name. Yeah, that's my name. It's the best ever folk because I'm the only folk rock. As Google proves, <laughs> there's yeah. no other folk rock band. Out of the the evidence is there. Exactly. I'm so. sixth on the list when you type your name in. Oh, what am I? Oh, I don't. I should do it. Me? Hold on. I, mine's only there because James is supporting my gig, so it's like Connor, Michael, Live, and Sutherland. James, oh. very the best. Mm. Oh, like, is that the only reason you're on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm stressed. What comes up when you put that in? Ready? No. Tell us. Oh, Halcyon comes up. Halcyon first one, yeah. Wait, there, have you already Googled this though? Have you fixed this? No. Is this a fix? I don't know, I don't think How so. How does Google work? How am I top? Google's is S- S- SEO, yeah, so it's like... Yeah, so there you go. I'm Look doing something that. right, lads. So that's the one. Um, I mean, when I type my name in and James comes up first. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy, I'm top. No, yeah. Life's all right. Then. Oh, I can breathe again. Because you had a. Um, I don't know who the fuck that guy is. I've got someone who keeps stealing my YouTube though. Really? So really? there's a Conor Michael Smith on oh, YouTube, good. and every time you put in Conor Michael Smith, you listen to one of his songs, and then mine automatically play after it. So I get a couple extra plays. Oh well. Yeah, fuck it. That's fine. But I was there first. 
Um, this this next one. Sorry, go on, James. If you um, want yes, do one. the cassette things because you know um, merch. Sell what you can. Well, I mean, to be honest, they do the kidneys. The and comments, all that, the comments were pretty. Yeah, do you do your cassette? Everyone else was like, yeah, just flip and do it. Especially if it costs nothing. Like yeah. you say, most cassette like um, DIY cassettes are just they've just little drawn. They haven't even like printed out anything. They've just mm-hmm. drawn. This is a cassette. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna release a cassette. Actually, That's I think it was in cool. your uh, genre as well. I think so. And yeah. your style. Yeah, I reckon so. Yeah. Not that anyone could play it, but, you know, mm-hmm. you've got a nice little... It'd be cute, there. put it yeah. in a frame. Sure, um, you Exactly. Back in my day! <laughs> Back in, we, we, we used to release things on cassettes. <laughs> <laughs> You're, You're from, from Yorkshire, Yorkshire. yeah? <laughs> I know, I've done that. It's officially Very Lancashire, sure. to be fair. But, I mean, uh, <laughs> All right, let's give us one more, just ask James. <laughs> yeah, there was... This is quite a long-winded one, but... um we talked breath. about before, but... Should I learn music theory or am I taking the easy way out? No, shouldn't. Um, but there's, hello, fellow musicians, guitarist here. Um, he says too long, didn't we? But I'll read it all. For a long time now, I've been conflicted about whether I should learn music theory. On one hand, people say it enhances your music playing, and I can see that as I use scales myself. On the other hand, however, I'm worried as it will take away my creativity and whether I should work hard myself first. See, I recently had an idea for a song, started writing, and then forgot one of the melodies that I wrote, which popped out of my head at the time, and afterward, nothing felt right. I kept trying different variations, and they just didn't seem to work. I know that feeling. Even besides that experience, a lot of the time I feel music has always sounded the same, and I kind of have to wait for inspiration to strike so that a riff just pops into my head. I've thought about perhaps forcing myself to use a different rhythm, or try to intentionally switch up the notes I'm using, but it just doesn't seem to work. I'm not sure if it's because I'm not trying hard enough. Do I need to memorize the scale more, learn different scales, learn chords? I barely know any, nor do I know how to build them. I'm primarily lead, question mark, okay. Um, So this is why I'm wondering if I should start learning music theory. I feel like it might be able to solve my issue and give me my, give my more, give me more ways to build melodies that makes music fun for me again. But on the other hand, if it's because I'm not trying hard enough, I don't want to simply take the easy way out on something I really enjoyed. And I also don't want to lose any creativity I may have. Edit. Thank you all the helpful responses. Okay, that's that's basically it. This is by user... That's context. Xlight360. To the story. So in that context, I would say learn some more music theory. Yeah. Because it'll enhance your experience. Yeah, it's well, the more you know, the more you can use. It's it's kind of like um, you say, oh, I, I, if if I, if I learn to if I learn to read, would that make yeah. me? Uh, <laughs> it's like, yeah, no, if you the more you learn instrument. something, yeah. Personally, I I can sort of I can write and play guitar and piano. I write with them, so I obviously can to some extent play the guitar and the piano. Yeah. Um, but I only use it to write and not play live because it compromises um, the quality of my vocals and my playing when I do it both together on stage. Yeah, because you want to concentrate on yeah, one yeah. specific thing, yeah. So if, but I think if you're writing, see how I write is just I make melodies up in my head and sing them. I don't yeah. play, it doesn't come from the instrument first, it's yeah. always in my head first. Yeah, that's good. I don't really need an instrument to write, so from my perspective, I went to uni, I've got a music degree, but I don't ever use music theory. It's good to know, to refer to some like phrases and terms, what you're going to probably yeah. need when you're writing That's and producing. And it does come naturally, but I, I think is what he's worried about is that if he learns... Um, it's going to make it really rigid. Yeah, he's going to be like, well, because I do this, then this has to happen next. But I don't think what he realises is that like that happens anyway, he just doesn't realise it. Yeah. But I think I think it, I think he feels it might take the joy out of it a little bit, knowing that oh, uh, I'm, I'm playing I'm playing a G now. I have to do a D next. Yeah. I don't know if he's like if he's worried about that, but not being able to straight. I know yeah. like nothing about music. I literally I know how to play chords you know. and I make them my own way. And I try to get into kind of like music theory to learn how to do guitar riffs Um, and I got quite bored of that but if there's if you just need to know one thing is the worst case scenario you're only one semitone out of key it's fine yeah and if you are (laughs) it's it's jazz yeah so (laughs) throwback to last week's episode apparently eh? (laughs) 
<laughs> Which I should clarify. I, I wasn't saying jazz musicians are bad musicians. You were off camera though. Oh. You were like, they're all fucking shite. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad Blaine Gums Murphy feel- died of the Simpsons. <laughs> <laughs> fucking jazz musicians. I feel, I feel I do need to clarify that. It's like it's, 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 it's because the musicians are so good they can just take the piss and they can just tell everyone that this is music when everyone's like saying, is it though? But yeah, that's anyway. Is that, that how was. you got out of like school and stuff? You know, like when you were on like football teams and stuff and you're like, oh... Why, why am I not on your team? You, you're just so good. I, I didn't think it'd be fair for you to be on our team. So <laughs> yeah. you, you, you go back to biting the ball. Go on. Well, it's, well, it's, like, it's, like, it's like Messi and Ronaldo deciding um, they've made up a new, new football game. And it's just like, it just makes no sense whatsoever. But everyone's because it's like, them. yeah, because it's them. It's like, well, this has to be good. Like, this has to be like talented. <laughs> But like, you know, they're doing handstands and stuff like that. It's like, what skill that is? Stop digging yourself out of hole, James. You don't like jazz. (laughs) End of. (laughs) I don't don't, don't necessarily mind jazz, to be fair. Like, but I mean, uh, but I am going to keep digging. I'm going to keep digging. It's going to be my thing. Every episode. Yeah. Another reason why you you like jazz. (laughs) How many jazz shows have you been to? (laughs) Quite a few, actually. I went to New Orleans. uh, That's full of them, so I'm fully experienced. (laughs) Was it the best night of your life? Honestly, they actually they were really good. Like especially the, the, out, the outdoor performance. You're starting really to good. dig out, aren't you? Yeah, I am. I, am you know. I can do that. Well, we'll call that part two. Yeah. And uh, we'll keep digging for yeah. part three. Yeah, exactly. Jazz, 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 jazz. Stay yeah. sexy. Hang on, um, hang on. See, this is the problem when I'm looking at words and stuff on my phone, and I've also got the soundboard, soundboard on my phone. It's uh, you can't actually. You can't just get it quickly. No. Go on, James. You got this. And the more the, the more pressure I'm under, the less. Oh, and then you get the adverts because it's a free sound. Yeah. 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 Welcome back to Sam. <laughs> 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 I'll do it, I'll do it, Papa. We're back, baby! <laughs> <laughs> That's what you got to compete with. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh, you compete with crazy fingers? No. <laughs> crazy sound effects. <laughs> so part three, uh, we've got a question from John. Was uh, What gigs have you got lined up for 2023? Million. This is the part I've been looking <laughs> forward to. I'm quite looking forward to this. I'm very excited, like I might be sick of my own shoes. Um, Lovely. I don't know if you do that when you're excited, it's fun. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so, what have I got planned? So, we're playing Lindy, Linda's fan. Mint. Definitely. That's me and the, the Shannon Pearl band, which is a six piece band. We're going to have double bass, we're going to have band row, we're going to have string parts, we're going to have keys, we're going to have guitars, we're going to have drums. Damn. And me obviously singing and Yeah, that, yeah I was going to say that's a yeah. integral uh, <laughs> part of the band, I think. Yeah, and we're going to, that's the first date of uh, a little autumn mini tour that I'm organising. Yes, I love a tour. Uh, well, I've never toured, well I have, with all the people, but never as my own music, so that's very exciting. Um, yeah, I'm going to do it all properly and hopefully do about six or seven dates in September, October yeah. time. Are we... Are we able to announce them? No, we definitely mean Lindy Farm is uh, definitely announced. We're doing we're doing Lindy's Farm because that's announced anyway. Yeah, so that that'll be the first. As it stands, this will be out on the twenty first of February. I don't know if that helps you want to announce anything. Yeah. Twenty first. Okay. This is released on twenty first like, of February. Okay, cool. So right. although so it's so the like... album will be out on summer solstice. Ooh, so that which is which is what the twenty second of. June. I'm gonna say June. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you should know this. <laughs> yeah, I think it's. I think Just it's, whenever the summer solstice is. Yeah, that's I think it's. It's either the, it changes and it's either the twenty first or the twenty second, so, yeah, depending on leap years and stuff like that. But. But yeah, so everything I do comes out on a, a stage of the the lunar, the cycle because, I work in lunar cycles for yeah. some reason. That's a good. It's, to be fair, actually, that's in in any way in terms of planning and stuff like that. That is a perfect system. Yeah, because, because it, it means you, you you have to you have to get things done. I have to get this done for this particular time. That's what I should do, actually. Well, I usually I said I was going to have a tour organized and do this album before I even had any songs or any yeah <laughs> anything. I was like, this is what's happening, and I'll make that's it what happen. I just did. Yeah. 
It's the best way because it, 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 it puts you, like, it's like you. I work well the under arse, pressure. It? Just yeah. like yeah, just kind of like up oh, like like this. Otherwise, I'd just sit about singing to myself and not share anything I do ever. So I have to put the pressure on myself, and yeah. I, and I'll tell all the radios, the magazines, the podcasts, the everybody, everything, and then I can't not. Yeah. So tip for you, James son. Yep, I will have to. Um, you are going to release some cassettes. Yes, I shall release some cassettes. A week after the you, lunar eclipse. I don't wanna, uh, <laughs> Let's get them all in. I don't want to compete. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, so that's the gigs. The gigs that I've got planned will all be announced soon. But the first one that I would like everyone to know about is Linda's Fania. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to that. Which that's, is the thirty first of August to the third of September. And that that'll be the first. You do it all four um, dates. I'm playing the Friday, and so is uh, Hot Sauce, the band. Oh yes. Uh, They're on. In- India Argon's on as well. Oh yeah. It's yeah. mm-hmm. so, be a full podcast world. I, I, I could get the podcast oh, down. Yeah. I'll try and I'll try and I'll try and interview uh, Primal Scream and everything. So. That'll be cool. <laughs> well, no, I'll, I'll, I'll ask about a press pass. See what happens. That's not be a bad idea. That'd be cool. If I'm in the band anyway, I'll be getting exclusives. Like, yeah. yeah. I'll be cool. Like, you can get a backstage band thing. Yeah. That's actually a good point. But then, it, I, I don't, yeah, you'd have to ask for like a press pack as well so I could get into other. Yeah. I would even need that if I was in a band. No, you will, because we not allowed to just mooch about backstage. Oh, can you not? No. Uh. Well, you could previously, but they realised that people were doing it, I think. Yeah, well, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> so I've never been to like a big festival like that before. I've never done a big festival yeah. like that before, I should say. That's really good. I did yeah. it a couple of years ago. It was mint. Absolutely really, class. Really looking forward to it. It was, what, who was it? Dizzy Rascal? Was the headline of the last time I did it? They, they get some random because like oh, it's random. It's Primal Scream this year. Yeah, Primal Scream, but like it's the like Channel Pearl Band and then Primal Scream. It's like but then Channel Pearl Band, Dizzy Rascal. It's like it's a bit. It, there's just, loads just get of, um, there's different stages. Ah, oh, right, yeah. So like the Viking Brew House is like quite local acts and. Um, then sort of the more international bigger bands are on the I forgot what the stage is called, but it's a massive huge get, circus get, tent thing. They get big house. They get big house. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, it's gonna be so good. I'm excited to tour. Ah, that's a good old good old indie. And God knows what'll come up as well, because I'm trying to get myself into some other festivals. I've applied. I'm waiting to hear back for mm-hmm. different things. Yeah. Well, just I mean, let us know. I'm sure I'll hear, hear about yeah, us before be like, it gets announced. Yeah, I'll be like, James, block your whole diary on <laughs> 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 That's cool as hell, though. Yeah. Um, so is that the only gig you're allowed to announce? Everything well, else all now, hush? For now, for now. Yeah. But um, keep an eye on socials and stuff for now. And where is your socials? I usually work uh, on Instagram mostly. I post everything I do with my life on there. So it's at Shannon in the Wild underscore if you want to follow us and see what I'm up to which is a lot of things you probably can't keep up but we'll try good (laughs) yeah I've I've gotten massively into Instagram recently I thought I I thought it used to be like a like a dead app yeah I'm the same I I felt it but then it's like the priority one now isn't it yeah did you used to do Twitter oh no I I mean I I feel like Twitter's like a mad universe that I've never delved into I jump into it now and then I I stop with Twitter the problem with Twitter is you have to tweet at least like 20 times a day to to stay like be even relevant yeah relevant yeah Yeah, it's just like and now because they've they've changed it's that basically you have to pay £8 a month to get the blue tick Eh? Um, oh yeah Elon Musk took it over so if you don't pay £8 for the blue tick your your, um, tweets are just not tweets just get like I, I get like, because it's you, it, you can see how many people have viewed the tweet now. I get like three or four people viewing a tweet. I've got like five hundred followers or something like that, and only five, like, really three ridiculous, or four of them. It? Yeah, but if I have a blue tick, that it pushes your and if if you try and comment on other people's pages, your thingy gets put down now, and the the blue ticks are all at the top, and they've even even to the point where they've got a um. They've got a two two bits of following. They've got a verified following, and they've got a thingy. So if you if you got a blue tick, you can just ignore everyone who doesn't have a blue tick. It's what just the like, hell? Because he wants everyone to pay. Ah, fuck Twitter. Month, Let's uh, just keep Instagram on the go. Yeah, <laughs> as if he's not. We're off the stage money. UK on Instagram, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's. Uh, that, I think I think the reels thing has really helped. Mm. Yeah. Um. That's that's probably. Uh, I enjoy making better. them, even though I'm not very good at them. I, I do have a go, and it is fun. I, I like a good, I like a good reel. I just cut and paste these things, but I've got yeah, a fancy camera good. now. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I like I like Instagram now. Um, 
That, I always like Facebook as well. I know a lot of people diss Facebook. But I use that as more as like a, a contact thing. It's like good that's folks. probably how we message the most as yeah. well. And it's it's a connection thing, Facebook. Whereas Instagram's like probably more. Pages. Yeah, <laughs> Instagram's more like instant. It's like a, yeah. a direct. Stuff. Like a, yeah, it's I, a direct I'm starting to use stories more so. Yeah. If I can't remember someone's name at a gig, I'm like. Facebook oh, what's that person? And then I'll, I'll, go, I'll like Facebook search every name that I think it is, and then it'll yeah. come up. And I'm like, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's the one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. On Facebook, you, it's, I'm surprised it's only Facebook with the social media, so you can actually create events. Mm. Like, so you have oh, like, yeah. a specific. I've never thing. thought about. Yeah, that. yeah. So that's and it's like, like it's ball like to do as well. It used yeah. to be able to click the create event option. Now you've got to go into like a previous oh, event, yeah, scroll got, down the settings, go past loads of shit, and then click create new event. And you go, why isn't that just not? In the actual event section. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a prime thing about Facebook, being able to have an event that you can yeah. actually advertise and link the tickets to and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, Facebook. Yeah, you're slacking. You're slacking. You're slacking, get on it. Um, obviously, at the end, we normally do a song at the end, but is yours pre-recorded? Is that the crack? Yeah, I pre-recorded mine because I'm such a diva. Cool. I think... Uh, well, it, it looks, to be fair... as well, if I'm it honest. Looks, <laughs> it looks cool as hell because you... Because you... you, cause you the, Oh, we haven't even talked about your, um, oh God. your, your, your album. Have you? It's like the art piece. The art piece of an album. The ghosts. I'll nutshell it if you like. Go on. I've been talking yeah. for a long time. No, it's not. Um, <laughs> ghosts is my most what the recent podcast is for. <laughs> sound art project. So I wanted to do something a bit different rather than just releasing music. I really wanted to create something that was three dimensional if I could. Um, how I went about doing this was I thought about it for two years, didn't tell anyone. And then <laughs> got really inspired by a lot of local places along the northeast coastline and came up with some melodies in my head which I then voice noted into my phone, which is how I write usually. And then when the time was right and when I realised how I was going to get these melodies out, I started looping them and made them into four different around about two minute songs. Yeah. All vocals, no instrumentation, apart from a tiny bit of shake gig and a tiny bit of drum, like shamanic drum. Yeah. Um, just to give it a bit of movement. And so each song is inspired by a different place. So I chose four places, which inspired me the most. One was uh, Holy Island. One was Souter Lighthouse. One was York Minster, or just York in general. Yeah. And I can't remember what the other one was. My brain's not there. Um, Bamber Castle, that was it. Bamber Beach. Is, is Warriors yeah. Bamber? No, Warrior no. is Lindisfarne. Farne. I nearly yeah. said Lindisfarne. Yeah, that, no. so each Damn. one has got a theme. So I, I, I researched, I'm really interested in local heritage and history. And um, Lindisfarne is rich in history mm-hmm. about the Vikings mm-hmm. and, yeah. you know, oh my God, it's wild. So I don't know if you've ever been there before, but it's like standing on the edge of the earth when you go on I've, I've never, a little actually, tiny island like I've been that. once, I can't remember it though. But I really? Know. You we, should we revisit. Nearly, we nearly went again, but I got the um, the, the coastal times mixed up, so yeah. I, couldn't, oh, yeah. I couldn't actually cross. So there is a causeway, you have to yeah. be careful to know when to come onto the island and get off again. But yeah, we, me and John went once, and we went really early in the morning, so we were there for like 8 o'clock, and we ran around the whole island as a different way to experience it. And it was a really immersive experience for me. And I f- was really bold, blew away by the amount of wildlife we've seen, the different natural noises that I had not heard before. They were really, everything was really loud. Like I had headphones on, but it wasn't. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Um, and you just felt so tiny. Yeah. Um, and I, I imagined after going up to the castle and everything and learning about the history of the place, um, I imagined the Vikings on the horizon uh, coming in the long ships in 792 AD and how that would have felt for the monks that have lived there in quite shit. peaceful yeah. times until that happened. Like, I, imagine I always, you I shit always, yourself. I always imagine the conversation the Vikings had after when they've got the loot and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The lads have got all this gold. Go, oh, God, who the hell do you have to fight for that? No one, there's just these bastards exactly. just kind of in wolves. <laughs> Running scared, they've got all this gold, unguarded. Right, <laughs> get the ships, lads, who are. Yes, well, that was the first time um, that the, they came this way. And yeah, and just, so they must have thought, the monasteries minute. were somewhere yeah. to, to go. Yeah. So that started a whole trend off. So it was a really, really influential time. Um, the culture changed and everything 
um, in Europe because of the invasion of the Vikings. Yeah. So I looked into that and I decided I wanted to create a song that was completely, that would encompass the whole vibe of the history, um, the natural landscape, where it is in terms of the country, yeah. uh, modern day, and sort of tie it all up in a ball and make it into a song. So if someone listened to it, you would think, oh yeah, I can actually imagine being there and yeah. imagine you know the yeah. Vikings and stuff, so that's why it's I called Warrior. Well, I could, you know, when when I heard that one, I was um, I was kind of like I could, I could see the song The Last Kingdom, like that's a song on the from The Last Kingdom. That's I was like, such that's, a compliment. Uh, I was so happy yeah. with that. Yeah. Well, I've watched the last The Last Kingdom as well, and I love. It's, it's I love not it's that. not historically accurate, but it's quite no, no, it's, it's good. Cool. It's like, good it's entertainment. Cool, like. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that was the inspo for that one. So there's four different tracks, all with different. Uh, inspiration i won't go through them all now because we'll be here all night but <laughs> you can find out what the stories are on my band camp i've, I've linked the little stories to the side of each song oh, and um, but the warrior is the one that i have pre-recorded for years to release with this podcast and i chose that one because it was the title track of the album it's the first one i wrote <laughs> it's the first place i visited in chronological yeah. order mm. of you know the actual places yeah. and um yeah there's loads of detail that's went into everything as well as uh found sound so i took my little zoom mic to wherever the mm. places are and actually got little samples yeah, of the actual clever. place yeah. and so the other side of it was the art i personally created some little tiny six by six art pieces to do with every place so okay. that i would have a visual stimuli for the audience and each piece of art has incorporated in it um actual elements of the place so uh, i've got seaweed from south lighthouse i've got mm. um sea glass from bambra i've got do you know what i mean like yeah, yeah. sand it's from bambra. Got the piece of actual the place piece of to, every place to on the artwork there. as well yeah that's proper art. That, that is four dimensional art it's wild yeah so i tried to sort of make a little world out of each piece that you can dive into and sort of yeah, yeah, perceive as you will. It's yeah. a lot of people it's, have have had some good feedback for us, so I'm really really proud of it. It's yeah, the first it's, time I've done anything like that, and I think I might yeah. do more because I, I, I really enjoyed, enjoyed it, it anyway. Yeah, yeah. I think Warriors was my favorite one though. Just, yeah, uh, it's, it's that that, that one in Holy Holy. Yeah, love, the Love Holy on on um, Spotify. It's that one in Holy. So don't know why I like, but <laughs> it's because it's good. I personally yeah. like salt, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I'd give it a listen all of it anyway I mean it's, it's only like it's 15 minutes yeah, it's not is it out now is it long. yeah out. it was out in December is this the album that we keep putting on on my stories and stuff mm-hmm. yes and you also you promote my new single as well thank you that's me me latest actual song not me loop EP uh, Step Under the Glow oh yeah that's it I, I put that one that's on. in I, the I like that one it's on the album yeah, it's, it's <laughs> one of my favourite ones as well yeah so the album that will be playing at Lindisfarne and on the tour is uh, currently, it will feature the songs that are already out, but it's it's got a lot more to come as well, like unwritten things and things that I've got going on in the background, and which will all be released very soon. You don't need to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Mint. Very excited. Yes. Ah, uh, that is all I had. Upcoming songs and shows yeah, sorted. Um, once again, if you want to follow us on Instagram, off the stage UK. Um, thank you very much for yeah. coming down. Thank you for having us. Yeah, it's been an absolute pleasure. I really enjoyed it. Oh, hang on, hang on. So... Hey. I forget the how. I forget the how. The thing is, it's delayed. It's not as. It's not as kind of like snappy as what I usually usually have, but it works. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, thank there's you. more options than normal. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, thank you very much for joining us, and we will see you next week. Uh, I'd usually say we'll get Shannon set up and stuff, but we'll just uh, go ahead and play the awesome Enjoy track. her song. Yes, absolutely. See you in a bit. Oh, yeah, shit. <laughs> I'll keep your reads. <laughs>
Oh, hi.